Welcome back. This time in this video, I'm gonna explain how to make the Lestrasa W build. This build is so really easy to notice in the talents, but the most important is you need to know for what it's for because it's not point if you you know look at website guide and you copy the, all the talents in the guide and you have no idea how to use it or for what they are for or for what reason you're taking those talents so that's why i'm going to explain that what what are the talents you have to take and why are you taking it so this kind of build is good in certain kind of situations in three exactly certain kind of situation the build is good when your team is pretty tanky is a team that can have a lot of quantities of HP like for example the stitches and the Sibyl and the Sibyl again can have with the Sibyl a lot of HP whoever can be you know pretty tanky can make this this W heal a lot and be really worth so why? because if you have a sketchy team it's better go the Cubio but if you have a fighter team or a pretty tanky team is better go W. So that's the first reason. The second reason I can recommend to go this build is when the map records you have to hold a place. For example, Boscaya, Sky Temple, uh, Braxis Hollowed, those kind of maps that you have to stand in that place and fight as the most as you can. So, why? Because this build is about to make a burst heal and really make a comeback in the team fight but you team have to sustain that fight so this build makes and become Alexstrasza not only in a burst healing it make her be and also a buffer so this is what this is about so this is why the, the, the heart in the map is important because you're getting the first style in level 1 a quest that you farm with hearts so the faster you get the hearts, is faster you're gonna heal, it's stronger, and just see the rewards. So just when you get you already 15 hearts, it's not really difficult to get. If you really move well in the map to farm your hearts, you can get it really fast. So only with 15 hearts, you're already gonna heal an additional 5% maximum heal. So if your team is, is pretty tanky, it gonna be a really good heals so this is the last part that makes something really interesting and tricky it says when you really finish the quest at 25 hearts you gonna um uh, your w when it burns heals it going to pop up a heart so this is incredible because the people think that the Kane was one of the few healers that, or Malfurion were one of the few healers that can also give you mana. Alexstrasza late game with this build gonna give you mana too because if you're popping up a heart, it gonna give mana too. So you're not only gonna get the burst heal, you're also gonna give a heart, we're gonna give you a extra regeneration heal and mana. So if in your team with people that get buff for grabbing a heart, for example, a Liming, if Liming get the talent level one, or a Diablo. I don't know if it's still Diablo with the remake. I don't know if now he gonna get that a lot of HP when when he get a heart. But it's some heroes that they they really need that that, that heart and have a really difference in the in their gameplay. So this heart is something pretty tactical. Not only for that, it's because of some talent gonna show you right after so we get this talent the second talent is this one remember when i said that alexstrasza will become also a buffer this is the first buff so you're gonna give 30 percent move speed in aoe that's pretty that's pretty word why because remember i said this bill is about to fight and 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 you know and hold the lane and stuff with that so if the boat fighting and you have your build done, you're gonna make a really lot of difference when you get the burst heals on your team. So the enemy team probably will may try to retreat or keep a distance and try to strike again or just flee. 
and the move speed gonna help your team to help them to finish to reach the kills before the escape. So you get this one. And then this one. This one is for you. The extractor received 30% more healing from abundance and 100% more from glove. Don't forget your talent level one will give you glove. So you will become in one of those heroes they can get an extra something just for grabbing a glove. So that's another kind of extra situation. I can allow you to, to grab this build if you're having your team people that can get an extra something, extra buff, extra regeneration, extra damage, whatever, if they grab a glove. So this is for your own. So, like I said in the basic tutorial, the level 10 and the level 13, it, it is always situational. It doesn't matter what build you're making. So the level 10, for example, this could be good if like, if your team likes to fight everyone together and the enemy everyone is fighting together, that's amazing, just take this one, don't have doubt about it. But if in your team is like only one person in the front line and everyone's trying to burst that person down, you get this one. So that's up to you. Elige un talento. Just like this one. In the basic tutorial, I already explained why to get this one. I just want to explain it real quick. So this one is when you feel like your Q is not enough, when your single target heal is not enough and you need like something else, you grab this one. And also gonna help the kind of a little bit damage around the target and to the enemies. This one is for sh shoot down their burst damage. Like for example, if you know a butcher gonna jump to you, you make it tiny. <laughs> you drop this debuff on him. Um, and this one, this one is good when the enemy team have annoying CCs, like for example, garage or something like that. It can help you a little bit to, for surviving, especially when you get the Dragon Queen form, they are so big and you can be easily to CC. So this is situational. So after this one, you get your second buff. Look at this. It says, heroes healed by evidence gain a shield for 3 seconds, equal to the 60% of the mon healed. So if you're increasing the heal you're giving to the people, plus a heart, plus move speed, plus this on yourself, that shield gonna shield a really decent quantity gonna be really worth so it's 10 in the w in this w bill gonna be really worth and gonna be really a difference so i recommend you if you're gonna make this bill especially if you're doing blind picks that you are like playing alone when you get in blind pick this bill i don't really recommend it because mostly in the blind pick the people they're not really coordinate is if you if you play with serious people in blind pick i nice you got luck but this build is when you're playing with your friends and your friends coordinate and your your friends trust in you and you trust in them because you're gonna make your W build and nobody's standing the W is no point it's just no point so well you get the chills so you got to have really the power of the of this build so this build is so easy to remember you're basically just taking <laughs> this and all of the build, these two is situational. And the talent level 20, you can get over again your R if you don't want to get really complicated situations. This one I only recommend it if you're doing the E build. But if you want to get more helpful, if you want to be those kind of healers that are really back, I, you can take this one to make your team even more tanky and heal even more. But that's up to you. That's up to you to feel more comfortable. I always say the heroics level 20 are really good and really strong. But that's up to you if you want to take it or not. So after this, I'm going to show you um, gameplays I made with this build. With random people, with some friends, is doing team with me, playing games with other person. I was making this build because I wanted to have captures to show you in real games how how this build makes difference and how it works and when to use it other thing i can recommend you to do you're going to be good using this build if you know when and where to place your w so if you want to really make sure you can be good 
knowing when and where to know your you W, I recommend you to see the basic tutorial. I explained that in there. So if you're not feeling sure, just Go check it because you can make a lot of difference using your W correctly. Because if you don't know how where to place your W, you're just gonna kill your own team. That happens. <laughs> it happens if you don't know how to make uh, put your W. You're gonna make like your 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 ally like just escape from dying and then you put the W wrong and the and the ally tried to go to the W you just go into the W place in the wrong place he gonna just die in the way and he was already safe so it's important you to know where to put the W and when to do it so if you don't really sure like you are good at it check out the basic tutorial so I'll see you in the in the game place
I see my fate was well placed. MVP. MVP. 